Hey guys, Andy TV here with some more Pokemon Crystal. Last episode, we finished off our side questing, backpacking stuff because we got Surf. And now, we're gonna move on and head over to Olivine City because that's where we need to go next. Except not really, we can either go to Mahogany Town or Olivine City. But uh, yeah, I'm going to Olivine City because that's more stuff. They're, the next two gyms are that way. And since we're here in Route 38, there's quite a few new Pokemon to talk about. First off, there is Magnemite. Magnemite is a Steel Electric type because Steel was introduced in this generation. It's one of the two new types, Fat and Dark, that were added on. But yeah, Magnemite, no, it's not that good as an Electric type because generally Electric types are fast. I mean, it gets the Steel type as an added bonus, but... Magnemite and Magneton just aren't that good. It's not until 4th generation where it gets an evolution called Magnezone where it becomes pretty good and is a very awesome steel killer. Okay, next up there is Tauros. Tauros is a normal type. Its stats are pretty good. I mean, it's... Mm, I mean, they would be pretty good in Generation 1, where normal type Pokemon were very, very good. And Tauros was one of the best of normal types. But Tauros here, it's still good, it's just... It's not as good. But yeah, I still recommend it. So if you want to use one, go for it. And then the next up is... Uh... Wild Battle Cut. But no. Oh... Uh, and the next wild Pokemon, which is Meowth, can only be found in the night, while Taurus can only be found in morning and day. Magnemite can be found in any time of day, but Ma uh, Meowth, it's fast, but its other stats aren't that appealing. It's just not that interesting to use. But still, if you want to go for, if you want to use one, then go for it. Ooh, hello, Taurus. But yeah. And then the next Pokemon that is available on this route that is new is my next team member, actually. Okay, cut there, because this wild battle is where I find it. Now, this wild Pokemon is Miltank. Miltank has a lot of HP. Its attack stat is pretty nice, and it's pretty bulky. So, yeah, if you want to use one, go for it. Especially if you were impressed with a Whitney's Miltank, then yeah, go for it. Because Miltank is pretty cool. I mean, it's... Like I said, it's a normal type. And normal types aren't as good as they were in Red, Blue, and Yellow. But still, I like Miltank quite a bit. So I'm going to be catching it. Am I going to catch it this time? No. Oh yeah, I remember. It takes quite a bit of time to catch. But yeah, Miltank... Mm, let's see. It can learn some pretty interesting moves as well. Like, I plan on teaching this thing Shadow Ball once I catch it because ghost type moves are physical in this generation and it's going to be running off Miltank's pretty impressive physical attack stat. And Miltank also has access to Milk Drink, which is a move that lets it heal HP. And when it's used outside of battle, um, you can use it to heal other Pokemon by sacrificing some of Miltank's HP. Which is interesting, but that's what Pokemon Centers are for and potions and whatnot. Jeez, this thing is taking quite a bit of time to catch. But, uh, yeah, that's, like I said, that's pretty much it for all the wild Pokemon in this route. So, you know what? I'm gonna be talking about some other stuff while I try to catch Miltank. So, what I'm gonna be talking about are how IVs are calculated. IVs, pretty much the genetic code of Pokemon, and... They range from 0 to 15 in the first two generations, and the special attack and special defense IV are the same, just so they can be tied with a special stat in generation 1. But yeah, the way you calculate IVs is, um, you take the IV plus the base stat, plus the total of the square root of the EVs divided by 8. That number, you multiply it by the level, then you divide that number by 50 and then add 5. And that's for, uh, attack, defense, Special attack, special defense, and speed. For HP, instead of adding 5, you add 10. And if you get a decimal, you just round down. Now, shine... 
or not shiny, uh, IVs are used to calculate shinies and genders in this game. So, for genders, if the IV is higher than the gender ratio, like say you have like a 1 in 7 chance, like starters, of, or a 7 to 1 chance for starters, like 7 out of, or yeah, for every 7 males you get, you're gonna get a female, so 7 to 1. If you have an IV, an attack IV, higher than 7, then, or higher than the highest number in the ratio, then you're gonna get a, sh a male. Female, it's different. It's lower. And then, oh yeah, I caught it. I caught the thing and named it Romani. Because Romani Ranch, blah, blah, I say it, I say that later. But yeah, shininess. Uh... Shininess is also determined by IVs as well. Uh, defense, speed, special, well, those have to be 10, while attack must be 2, 3, 6, 7, 10, 11, 14, or 15. And females with a 1 to 7 gender ratio can never be shiny. Also, yeah, shininess, it's a 1 out of 8,192 chance, but I'll get more into that later. But yeah, now that I caught my mill tank and named it Romani because it's a cow in Romani Ranch Zelda reference, blah blah blah. Teaching it Shadow Ball. And I'm gonna be teaching it Strength because same type attack bonus and whatnot. Okay, Shadow Ball. That's just to give it some type coverage because that is always a good thing. And I, I tried to teach it Dig here, but um can't learn dig which is a shame because dig is in game it's pretty decent and it's a ground type move and ground type moves are some of the best offensive type move things out there but uh yeah so once I teach strength to this cow what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the video here just to do some off-screen training and then see you guys when that's done and now that that off-screen training is done, I forgot what level Miltank is right now, or Romani. So I'm gonna have to get used to saying that. But yeah, now that that's done, I think Romani is level 18 or 19 by the time I finished. 20, okay. Yeah, and it learned Milk Drink off-screen, which, like I said before, it heals itself, which is pretty nice. Lets it live longer. And since we're in the route where we can find Miltank, there's also a farm around here called the Mumu Farm. And we will be visiting that later in this video. It's just we're getting Miltank some training here. Some much needed training because even though Romani is still level 20, the rest of my team is like level 26 to 28. Yeah, Leaf is level 28, Nightwing is level 27, Crasher and Arcana are level 26. Oh, hello, youngster Joey. Uh, I don't want to battle you right now. If I'm in the area, which I probably won't be, I will battle you. But not now. And this item here is a berry. Actually, we're going to be needing berries. Because you know how I still have those berries from like ages ago and they're probably rotten? Well, I'm going to be needing them for the Moomoo Farm area because something is happening there. Oh, hello, Bird Keeper. You have a Dodoo, something I can't get until way later. Yeah, you, you don't get Dodo until later on in the game, which is really weird, but oh well. Not like I'm going to be using it. And now you are... Are you gonna have a Dodrio? That'd be way too early in the game to be seeing a Dodrio. Because it'd be severely underleveled. Yeah, it's not gonna be a Dodrio. Which would be a shame because a Dodrio would give me some nice experience here. Oh, okay, it's three Dodo things. That's six heads. Dodo always freaks me out whenever I see it. I don't know. I mean, I like Dodo and Dodrio, but I don't know, just seeing Dodo kind of freaks me out. I don't know why. 
Oh well. Okay, yeah. And, oh, that guy just mentioned uh, flying in uh, Cyanwood or Cyanwood. Anyways, we got to fly HM in Cyanwood City. Is this Cyanwood City or... Yeah, it's city. Or is it town? I don't know. I just talked to that guy too. But yeah, we're going to be getting fly there as well as the badge required to use fly, so... Yay, that's convenience there, but I won't be using fly to fly around. Because, even though it's very convenient, recently, I just don't use fly anymore. I mean, I use it in battles and whatnot, but to fly around, I I stopped using, or I stopped doing that when I started playing Platinum when it first came out. That's when I stopped flying around because, I don't know. I mean, for the Let's Plays for the Pokemon games that I've done, I would just cut away, and that's what I'm going to be doing here, like, if I need to travel, instead of using fly, but, hmm, I don't know, I'm just weird like that. I mean, if, uh, Pokemon is the only series where I don't do that, I mean, like in Dragon Quest Nine, once you get the option to teleport to towns, I use that a lot, instead of just traveling around, because that'd be insane, but in Pokemon games, now I just travel around instead of using fly. And this chick, I don't remember what she gives you. Probably, it's not a fire stone. It's not a water stone. It's not a. Le it's probably a vitamin or something. Not that those are any useful. F or they are useful, but I'm. I don't know. It's not worth getting a number four, especially since you only get ten phone numbers in this game. Technically eight, since. Your mom and Professor Elmar are automatically part of the phone and can't be deleted. So yeah, that gives you room for eight extra numbers. What numbers do I have? I have Youngster Joey. Uh, Fisher Ralph, because that's my name. Bill and Fisher Tully. I think that's it. Oh, and this guy. He wants my phone number so I can talk to him about Professor Oak, but that's just creepy, so no. And you, what do you have? Oh, I remember this chick has a Chikorita. <laughs> Not Chikorita. Uh, Corsola. Where did I get Chikorita from? Yeah, Corsola. It's interesting. It's rock water. But, it's still gonna go down. Corsola's design always... I always liked it a lot, it's just... I don't know, it, this sprite here looks weird compared to the other generations. That's just me though. But yeah, Corsola, it's still not a good Pokemon. I should have switched to Leaf here because... Corsola has a 4 times weakness to Grass. Oh well. Oh, Moomoo Milk. Yeah, this lady that mentioned Moomoo Milk. It's a pretty good healing item, but... Uh, I I will mention something that is stupid about Moomoo Milk in this game. Only in Gold, Silver, and Crystal. But yeah, soon. Let me just uh, beat the crap out of this trainer's Pokemon. Okay, he's a Psychic... Psychic Norman. There's a character in Ruby Sapphire and Emerald named Norman. Oh well. Okay, yeah, Shadow Ball on Slowpoke because... It's weak to Ghost. See, that's type coverage at its best. Because it, it would not make sense to give... Miltank just all normal moves. That's just weird. So... I don't know what its next move is that I want Miltank to have is gonna be? Maybe... Hmm. I don't know, cause later in the game there's an Earthquake TM, and I'm debating if I should give it to Romani or Crasher, cause I think Crasher can learn Earthquake. If it can, that'd be awesome. Okay. Well... 
Now we are here in uh, Mumu Farm. Actually, it's not in Route 38, it's in Route 39. And down here, there's a nugget. Don't ask how I know that, I just do. Still, it's free 5,000 Poké Dollars. And this item here is a mint berry. And what that does, as you will see when I check my bag, is it heals you from sleep. Which is very helpful, but again, I probably won't be needing that because I can buy full heals. Milk goes to Kanto, so yeah. So what's going on here is that one of their milk tank is sick. And it's not given any milk. But they have four others outside, so... Yeah. And we need to feed it bit uh, We need to feed the sick mill tank some berries, which is why I saved them. We need seven berries, and I think I have like eight or nine. And... Let's just... Yeah, that sounds really sick. So that's one berry. That's two... Jeez, this really does sound like a dying cow. Well, it, it's getting healthier. And that's... This is the fifth? I don't know. I lost count. Okay, I think the next one is the last one. Okay, no, the next one is gonna be the last one. Yep. Yay, it's... It's all better now. See, that sounds a lot better. Then they're not feeding Moo Moo. I was feeding Moo Moo. Okay, let's just use up those last two berries. Is it last? Yeah, the last two. Just because I don't need them anymore. That's all I needed them for. And let's go claim our reward for helping them, because we're good Samaritans. So, this guy, he is going to give us Moo Moo Milk. And this is the only time we can buy Moo Moo Milk. Just that one bottle. Which is stupid, because... Oh, Cam 13. Not Ice Beam in this game. It is Snore, which is also stupid, but, um... Yeah, Snore you have to be asleep to use. But, anyways, back to the whole uh, Moo Moo Milk thing. It heals 100 HP for only 500 Poké Dollars. Which is awesome because just two of those would heal 200 HP and that's cheaper than a Hyper Potion. But the problem is, in Gold, Silver, and Crystal, you can only buy that one bottle. Nothing else. I mean, you would think that it'd just be like a once a day thing, but no. Just that one bottle. Which is very, very stupid. Because Moo Moo Milk is such a handy item. And I think in this game, uh, sometimes Miltank will have Moo Moo Milk on them when you catch them, but not this one that I caught. Which is lame. Oh well. Okay, that Pokefan is demolished. And that other one that's here in this route, if you remember, I fought that guy last time when I came to Olivine City to get strength. So yeah, and th that lady right there, she's only going to fight me in the nighttime, which is weird, and she's crystal only trainer, which is really weird, but oh well. She's not that challenging at all. All she has is a Meowth. And this sailor is the last trainer in Route 39. So yay. And then after that, we can just head over to Olivine City, because there's nothing stopping us there. Hollyworld looks cool. Hmm. If I had the option to trade, I'd probably use a Politoed, but... Actually, no, because Politoed is alright. Well, I... I do have the option to trade. I mean, way back in yellow, I did some trading things in the beginning of the game to get my Pikachu to have Surf. But, yeah. I could contact that guy again, but it'd just be too much of a hassle. And besides, my team is already planned out, and I already have episode 29 recorded, so... And that's where I get my last team member. Which is an awesome team member. 
But yeah, if I wanted to, I could have gotten a scissor into my team, and scissor is cool. I like scissor a lot. It's actually one of my all-time favorite Pokemon, too. Okay, Krabby. You can just die to my awesome strength. Oh yeah, also off screen between this episode and episode the next one, episode 29 I think. Yeah, but off screen between these two episodes, Romani is going to be gaining a few levels to catch up with the rest of the team, which is awesome. And now that that's done, now we can go into Olivine City. After I read the sign, even though I did that before I fought that trainer. Uh, and that's better. We are here in Olivine City. And you know what? It is pretty much going to be a good time for me to end it anytime soon because it's like 21 minutes now. Which is a lot of time compared to last episode. But yeah, just gonna head into the Pokemon Center, and I'll save exploring Olivine City for the next episode. So, yeah, now that that's done, ooh, that's, that lady was foreshadowing something, but yeah, now that that's done, I can just heal my Pokemon up, and then that's when I'm gonna end it. Heal my Pokemon. I love saying that. But, uh, yeah. So, later, cause all of I next time.